Hi, this is Asing. Today I'd like to share the inverse of the hyperbolic sine function which can be derived by using the hyperbolic sine function. We can first let y be equal to the inverse for easy writing purpose and we know that for any function f, if we substitute the inverse function, we should obtain x itself if f is a function of x, which means that we should have e to the power of y minus e to the power of negative y over 2 is equal to x times the entire equation by 2 we should obtain e to the power of y minus since this is to the power of negative which means that we should have 1 over e to the power of y then we have equal to 2x times the entire equation by e to the power of y so we obtain e to the power of y square minus 1 is equal to 2x e to the power of y so which means that we have e to the power of y square minus 2x e to the power of y minus 1 is equal to 0 up to this stage we just have to apply the quadratic formula recall that we have x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a we just have to obtain and replace x using e to the power of y so which means that the unknown for this case is ey instead of x and we just have to obtain abc accordingly so a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 2 x and c is equal to negative 1 so which means that we have negative b negative negative we obtain positive 2 x plus minus square root of b square so we have 4 x squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times negative so negative negative positive 4 divided by 2 times 1 which is 2 and we should abandon the negative since we want the function to be defined for all real value of x since this is loan so which means that this part can never be negative so we have to abandon the negative and left only the positive part so which means that we have 2x plus 4 and 4 common factor take out square root of 4 is 2 square root of x squared plus 1 divided by 2 simplified we should obtain x plus square root of x squared plus 1 and we just have to loan both sides so loan e to the power of y since this is loan we can bring down the power y and loan x plus square root of x squared plus 1 loan e is equal to 1 which means that y is equal to loan x plus square root of x squared plus 1 and y is what we denote which is the inverse hyperbolic sine function and hence we already obtain the function of the inverse of hyperbolic sine function and we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you